he could understand it too as a person that is is all of a sudden getting getting a lot of thoughts and he writes them down well it's not quite like that but anyway yeah. that's as close as i can describe him unless uh -huh. the holy spirit moves in his All life right. no we we understand that okay we have this question here from the fast blast this person is is, is exuding some uh, frustration here and i just preface it like that uh dr hansen uh help this brother in christ who has had enough of the church and in my heart, I really want to know, with all the corruption in the church and in every religion, why would I ever want to put myself under the authority of a man? Well, if he, if he you know, the world is, is based on, on, if we want to say law and order, it's, it's based on, on there, there's always somebody in control. And, and this is, there is a proper control and authority in the world, but it's been abused. And so I certainly understand his statement, but yet without control and authority, countries like in Rwanda and others that have gone into insanity and chaos, uh, we wouldn't be talking on the phone. Uh, this, you know, there'd be a fear of just walking outside of your home. So there has to be control. There has to be law. Unfortunately, it's being totally abused because I believe that mankind has got away from the scriptures, away from, again, uh, God's, God's justice, if we want to say that, and we've gone into human types of abuse and control. I believe there's not going to be any peace on earth until until Jesus Christ returns. It's just going to continue to get more and more insane. Mm -hmm. Well, but I... there has to be there has to be law. There has to be control, or a nation turns mm -hmm. into uh, the what we call uh, the law of the jungle, so to speak. If mm -hmm. if I can say a term that I just came yeah. out of Africa, the the strong survive, the the weak perish. Mm -hmm. But uh, there has to be. There has to be control. Now, there are godly, good men and women of God. And if he understands his Bible, uh, if, he, if he really is a, a disciple, a student of the Bible, then he should be able to find somebody that is actually preaching and teaching what Jesus actually taught, not somebody who's twisting the word for mm -hmm. personal gain or, or abusing the congregation. He should be able, if he searches hard enough, to find a church that, that, is, that is a good church. Uh, there are good churches out there. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I will agree that you have to search for them nowadays because we're going more and more into what we call cultural theology, uh, theology based on what, what people want to hear. And, and, and that, is, that is heresy, and, and that's where we're at today. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see any uh, alien activity as part of any end-time scenario? Um, you know, that, 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 that's such a question up for debate. I mean, uh, I, I don't... I certainly don't know all of the mysteries of God. Uh, so, uh, is there is there um, other 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 um, what's on other planets? Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't mm -hmm. entertain that too mm -hmm. much. I believe that uh, uh, in the Book of Revelation it describes how. God is going to use the angels to unleash the different plagues. Yeah. And yeah, when those uh, plagues, like okay, when those plagues come out, uh, it talks about scorpions and, and things yes. like that. Are, yes. th are those uh, literal or figuratively? No, no. Um, uh, you could. Yeah, that's in Revelation. If you have the chapter and verse, we could we could even define it right now and go into it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you've got um, descriptions of of what's going to. Okay, well, just the basic the basic four horsemen. Are there going to be uh, angels or otherwise on horses riding through the air? Uh, well, um, talks about them blowing blowing the trumpets. Talks about them uh, breaking the vials and things like this, unleashing um, plagues upon the earth, including including uh, uh, demons. So, um, have you ever cast out a demon? Yes, yes, I have. Where, where, where do out, they go? Where do they go once you cast I, them out? I cast out a lot of demons. Uh, I follow uh, the the um, example of Christ. He cast them in the pigs. Now, pigs themselves, I know we can get into some controversy here, too. Uh, but let me just yeah, make a I'm statement. all for it. On your, on, your, on your scorpions, we can certainly get yeah. into that in detail. I've written articles on, on the book mm -hmm. of Revelation. But yeah. uh, on, on this question on pigs, um, I've cast demons into pigs. Um, people, people can become uh, filled with spirits. Now, if a person can have cancer, 
if they can have uh, other types of, of diseases that go into the body, well, uh, a spirit goes into the body. He doesn't go into the spirit. And this is, again, another area where people might uh, find it hard to understand or accept, especially some Christians don't believe that a Christian can have spirits in them. But uh, I could give you lots and lots of examples. Uh, when, we, when we pastored in Singapore, there was a church of 5,000 that I was... Uh, working with and and when people accepted Christ uh, one Sunday the next Saturday we we were casting demons out of a lot of those people because when they were babies they took them to the to the temples they have different uh, temples and one would be the Hindu temple they would offer them to their gods and spirits would go inside of them and uh, so I is there so, so you, just out of a lot of people? Okay, so you, do you think that uh, that pigs are designed to be uh, the host for demons? Well, I, I do know that pig a pig is an unclean animal. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't certainly doesn't affect your salvation. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to tell people mm-hmm. they they can't eat pork. Yeah, do, do you eat uh, do bacon? Know, I do know it's a scavenger. Mm-hmm. And it's an unclean thing, and, and even doctors will tell you that if you if you really study it. So you don't eat uh, bacon? Personally, no. Not not for a spiritual reason. Ham, it's just a, ham sandwich? Pardon? Ham sandwich? I don't. Okay. And the reason reason for that is for health reasons. Mm-hmm. My my family history has heart problems, and and uh, again, that will contribute to heart disease mm-hmm. and, and the lard and everything. So. I just don't do it for health reasons. It's a scavenger, and the mm-hmm. Bible talks about about scavengers and mm-hmm. not to eat them because, again, they are health hazards. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't. Know, I know that the uh, Seventh Day Adventist they they have a, a good history of, of longevity because they follow these Old Testament dietary laws, mm-hmm. and uh, you will live longer if if you do follow those Old Testament laws. They have no application for mm-hmm. salvation any longer, but uh, mm-hmm. they certainly apply for for uh, for your mm-hmm. health. When Jesus died on the cross, he did not glorify the pig or the mm-hmm. lobster or the crab or anything else. No. Now, I, I heard that uh, I heard that uh, uh, hogs and pigs and whatnot, they actually rot. Their meat rots from the inside out where all other meat rots from the outside in so i mean right there something suspicious and then you got yeah. you got the demons running around in the pigs i don't know i'm i'm you know eat a eat, eat a eat a ham sandwich and eat a demon i'm i'm staying away from well, that i'm, well, you, wait, I'm, you, I'm away you, from you that you can't do that you can't eat a demon but a demon can go inside a, a person certainly will be is, lingering uh, if you if you living if you, outside of the boundaries well of, yeah of but the laws of God. okay but yeah if you performed the exorcism and he went to the pig the pig got slaughtered he made it to the market i bought the sandwich and ate it then why wouldn't i get that demon that you stuck in that pig <laughs> <laughs> because the, the the demon lives in a living being, and then that that <laughs> pig is already slaughtered. Yeah, well, I was going to say uh, maybe the it, demon it, is it, cut up. Though. It is a good analogy to keep people from eating the pig that would help their health. Yeah. Uh, then, then that's a good analogy. Yeah, I was going to say he's, maybe he's sliced up, and then his power is 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 uh, you know kind of cut <laughs> cut down there. So maybe I, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, I could give you a lot of stories. It's a lot easier to cast demons into pigs than. Uh, anything else as far as what I've experienced. I mean, I mean do you, do you, you don't even have to see the pig, right? You just tell him to go to a pig? Yeah, like when I was in Jamaica casting demons out of people, and, and we literally cast demons out of hundreds of people in Jamaica. There's there's a lot of witchcraft, and they bat people in pig's blood and other things, and uh, uh, just a lot of things that a person would find it hard to believe other than a person that's wrapped up in uh, uh, ritualism and, and religious uh, types of things that are that are based on Lu, uh, Lucifer, a Luciferian doctrine and, and things like this. But um, anyway, there's there's just a lot of people filled with, with, with demons in Jamaica as well as some other countries. But uh, we've cast a lot of people out of, uh, a lot of demons out of people in Jamaica when we've traveled over there. And uh, if I'm in Spanish town, I just, I just command a, a spirit to go into a, a pig in Spanish town. Um, let me ask you, ask you this question. It's, it's, it's high on the, the political scene. Um, should we be in Iraq right now? Well, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I will say this much. We are not going to defeat uh, the Muslims or terrorists by bullets. It's got to be a spiritual change. You'd have to absolutely kill every Muslim in the world if you want to stop terrorism. Mm-hmm. 